Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler, it's aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. Alright, so this video we're gonna be talking about the top speed in a straight line for the new tuners DLC vehicles. We got all 10 of them, we got them ranked. This is just an unofficial to straight line top speed on a very long straight line course. Okay, real simple. Anybody can do this, you can go ahead and get this knocked out yourself. Just want to bring it to you and show you, talk about a little bit. And kind of talk about a few of the things with the cars in regard to their performance. It's a lot of fun, man. But it's been a blast testing all this stuff out. It's really cool. So before we get started, though, you guys know what to do. Make sure you subscribe to my channel with bell notifications turned on so you guys don't miss out on any future content, live streams, videos, any uploads at all. All right? And you know it's going to be a banger, baby. Go ahead and smash that like button. All right? So here we go. In the 10th spot, we have the Warner HKR. Yes, it's in the sedans class, so it's kind of weird where it's put. But, um, you know, it's it's exactly what you would expect it to be, to be quite honest. Uh, it comes in at a 4 minute 25.263. So, yeah, you know. Uh, <laughs> the Remus coming in at 9th place. The, uh, the hearts just can't give it enough boost on there. Uh, the Remus, 4 minutes, 6 seconds, 0.677. A big step up from the Warner, but, you know, not going to do too much in the overall class of these vehicles. Don't forget, we still have 7 more drip-fed vehicles, so this list will probably change up in a couple of weeks. So, let's keep that in mind, okay? Coming in 8th place is the Dominator GTT, alright? This bad boy is awesome in the muscle class. It's going to be one of the new top contenders for racing around a track. And the top speed straight line, though, comes in in 8th at 4 minutes and 5 seconds and some change. Coming in 7th is the Tailgater S. It's another vehicle in the Sedans class. It actually performs quite well in this class around a track. I have more on that a little bit later on. But at a top speed straight line, coming in 7th at 4 minutes, 4 seconds, 0 0.708. All right? In sixth is the Euros. The Euros, it's a, it, it's a, actually a decent car to drive. It's not that bad. Uh, it's pretty stable, pretty safe. Coming in at six at four minutes, four seconds, 0 0.308. Coming in at fifth is the Futo GTX. Now, this thing is a rocket. I think if I had more track, it would probably be even faster. This thing is extremely fast uh, for what it is. Four minutes, two seconds, 0 0.506. Not bad at all. Coming in and fourth is the ZR350. Such a beautiful car. It really is. I just love the way that Rockstar designed this vehicle. Very good vehicle overall. Uh, coming in at four minutes, two seconds, 0.239. Bringing in the top four vehicles. Now, coming in at third is the RT3000. It's a very aggressive car to drive, especially around, you know, it's like free mode around the city. It's kind of, you know, it's just very, very aggressive. It moves real quick. It breaks into that three-minute range, three minutes, 55.298. Coming in in second is the Calico GTF. This is arguably probably the better vehicle to use around a actual track with the tuner races. I like the gesture as well, but coming in at 3 minutes 54.498, this is the second fastest on this list. And number one is going to be the Jester RR. I love the Jester. I really enjoy racing with it. Uh, this is a very good, complete vehicle overall, coming in at 3 minutes 53 seconds, 0.897. So, very fun. Again, this is just an unofficial top speed straight line down my track that I have here. Uh, the majority of these vehicles, seven of them are in the sports class. None of them are going to be the top vehicle to use in the sports class. The three that are not will be the Dominator, which is in the muscle class, and it feels good. I've just done some light testing with it, but it feels really good around a track. And then the Tailgater S and the Warner HKR are both in the sedans class. And the, uh, the Tailgater S is absolutely competitive. It feels really good. I'm not sure if it's going to be as good as the Shafter V12. I think it's just a beast, the sedans class. But anyways, though, here you guys have it. Again, just a fun, real quick little rundown of the track. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the illest and reals content in the game. Smash, I mean, must smash that like button. See you guys in the next one, right? Peace out. Yeah.